Hello everyone, today we are talking more Game of Thrones and we are talking about Dragonbinder and the theories that surround it. For those who do not know what Dragonbinder is, it is a horn that can control dragons. Euron Greyjoy found it when he sailed the Smoking Sea. Dragonbinder is also known as the Hellhorn. It is 6 feet long, made from a horn of a dragon. It has a black gleam and is banded with red gold and valyrian steel. When touched, the horn feels warm and smooth. Its surface is shiny and reflective, though the reflection is depicted is somehow twisted. The bands of the horn are covered by strange writings, Valyrian glyphs. When the horn sounds, the glyphs glow red hot then white hot. The Valyrian glyphs are translated as this. I am Dragonbinder. No mortal man should sound me and live. Blood for fire. Fire for blood. It is not said how many dragons can be bound by one horn. In the books, Euron Greyjoy sends his younger brother Victorian to Daenerys with a marriage proposal and he sends him with Dragonbinder, hoping to get himself a dragon. So if Victorian blew the horn, he would die. Some people think that whoever blows the horn gets their soul trapped in the body of the dragon controlling it like a warg. Some people think all of Daenerys' dragons will betray her, completing the House of the Undying prophecy. One for gold, the dragon Viserys, who is a gold color. One for blood, the dragon Rhaegal, who is named after her brother Rhaegar. And one for love, the dragon Drogon, who is named after Khal Drogo. There is literally hundreds of theories that surround Dragonbinder, some of them more likely than others. Now some of these might be the case in the book, but for the TV show, I think not. They haven't even mentioned the horn yet and we haven't even seen Victorian Greyjoy yet. And Daenerys is on her way to Westeros as we speak. So I think for the TV show they're going to skip over the whole death thing for a dragon. But I do think Dragonbinder will play a major role in Season 7. Because let's just say they completely ignore Dragonbinder like they did to Lady Stoneheart. Daenerys would just steamroll over everyone. She has the Martells backing her, she has the Tyrells backing her, she's the Dothraki Horde, a humongous fleet, and she has three dragons. It would be the most one-sided battle in Game of Thrones history, like, ever. I mean, it would just be a bloodbath. So that point right there tells me that they have to have Dragonbinder in the show just to make it interesting. And dragons fighting dragons would be pretty fucking sweet, not gonna lie. And just to leave you with a final thought, most likely a dragon is going to die next season. And the White Walkers, they're coming. Could a white bring a dragon back, making it to an ice dragon or some half-dead beast? So what do you think? Is Dragonbinder going to play a major role? Will a dragon die? Or is Daenerys just going to steamroll over everybody? Leave it down in the comments below, and if you want more Game of Thrones content, please subscribe, and as always, have an awesome day.